Williams. And of course, off the bench will come uh, Bobbitt, Tony Bobbitt, uh, one of the top uh, six men in the entire nation. Hess, Crawford, and Jones are the officials. We're set to go. The Bearcats in white and the Buccaneers in blue. And it's Smith and East Tennessee State with the first chance. He's only 5'9. Uh, where do you see him full motor? The camera with Matt Dukas and Leslie Visser. Lock as Wadud says, uh, What's going on inside? That's a typical Cincinnati Bearcat defensive play. I uh, should know that uh, J Jason Maxiel, the leading shot blocker for Cincinnati, averaging two a game, has put that right in his hand. And there's a foul over the shoulder. Reaching in was James Anthony. And those of you expecting to see these games will see the tip off shortly. Northern Iowa against Georgia Tech. Then Western Michigan, Vanderbilt, and Eastern Washington meeting Oklahoma State. That's all ahead here on our March Madness road to the Final Four. Up with a shot, James White, flight 75. The point guard gives Cincinnati the first points of the game. Well, East Tennessee not going to waste too much time. They're going to launch shots. They average 79 points a ball game. 14th in the nation. Nice look inside. Wadud misses and an easy goal from Kareem Johnson to make it 4 0 Cincinnati. Fields can't control the long pass. Marie Bartow in his first year at East Tennessee State at age 42. Cincinnati off to a 4 0 start against East Tennessee State using their defense to set up easy baskets. Kirkland puts it inside, and Max Eel is fouled. As you Max Eel will go to the line, the leading scorer for the Bearcats for Bob Huggins in his 15th year at the University of Cincinnati, 13 straight seasons into the tournament. At age 50, one of the outstanding coaches in the country. Actually, a uh, turnaround for uh, Bob Huggins in the middle of this season basically changed the offensive philosophy of the Cincinnati Bearcats, a team that was just going up and down. They had so much success in the early part of the season coming out of the blocks, winning their first team, but uh, 13 games, but against uh, lesser competition and we're getting away with some gambling on defense. He has pulled it back. They become more of a half court team. Now they'll still run when they can, but they become more of a possession ball club and it's paid dividends. Axial at the line and a lane violation against East Tennessee State gives him another chance. He's the 41st Bearcat in history to hit the 1,000 mark. Did that uh, earlier this season, joining some illustrious greats, including Oscar Robertson, Jack Clemens. Uh, their numbers retired by the university at 6 0. This is the way the first game started. Fields takes it in and can't connect. <laughs> and the little guy Smith parses up a, a shot, and uh, that'll be a hell of a ball. Points to Cincinnati. Bearcat fans wanted a foul. Uh, get used to that from Timmy Smith. He'll take him from any place, anywhere. There's Fields taking it hard in the open floor. Terrific ball school, uh, ball skills for a guy of his uh, body type. Six seven and two seventy, but Max Hill was there to bat it away. Speaking of a thousand points, uh, Field Williams number two on the far side. He had. He needs only five points today, and here's going for three. He needs two points today, and he'll be at the thousand mark. Nine nothing start for the Bearcats. The number one three point shooter in Cincinnati Bearcat history, shooting 44% on the season. What a start for Bob Huggins. Bearcats, nine nothing in the first two minutes. Of this game, like the opening round of a fight where a guy steps out one punch, he's down. All of a sudden, nine nothing Cincinnati. Well, East Tennessee State, they are not going to take the best shots in the world, but that's their style. Murray Barto, Barto said he can't put a leash on Timmy Smith, he's just got to let him go and trust that eventually he's going to get his game under control and get some other players involved. He is not a passing point guard, however. Chances Anthony gets a loose ball. Rhoda. He's denied by Max Seal. Clear it out to White, the 6-7 point guard. 11 to nothing. Just as we saw Illinois just smile.
mother of Murray State with their defense. So it is here, Cincinnati against East Tennessee State. Well, it's, uh, our crack uh, research staff has produced that. 11 nothing here, but be assured there's never been a shutout in NCAA tournament basketball history. I don't think there have been any portraits. All kinds of information <laughs> coming forth. Cincinnati wasting no time against a running team that's not getting back on defense. Little man Smith inside. Gets it out to Anthony. And a good rebound when you have a good point guard that can go up like that. Jason White at 6 7. Either White or Kirkland will initiate offense for Bob Huggins. Neither one a natural point guard, but Bob Huggins said, hey, whoever has the ball against whatever's a favorable matchup, we'll let that player get us started. And they have done a terrific job since he actually took Nick Williams out of the starting lineup as a point guard. That really wasn't a natural position for him. And the blocking foul against Cincinnati. The Bearcats are four for four off the start from the floor while East Tennessee State is 0 for 6. Johnson picks up his second foul and we've played less than three minutes. Wanood. Oh, Max Seal does he have three blocks already? At two on Wadud, who's really not even looking at the defender. Smith and a tip in nicely done by Wadud. The key, fourth in the nation in steals. He's top rebounder, second best scorer. He does everything well. Now this East Tennessee State team has terrific defensive credentials. The only team in Division One, top ten in steals and blocks. So of course that'll get your running game going. The field rebound to number 20, James Anthony. Left-hander Smith fires again and hits. Not only the quick release, he's got different release points. He took one from the left side, from the hip. He's a gunslinger style, quick out of the holster. 11 to 4, he just missed the three. And at, they list him at 5'9", but I wonder, Dick, probably closer to 5'7", playing the back spot on that 1-3-1 one, one zone defense because of his quickness to get out to the corner. We're going to see another 5'9 dynamo tonight at the University of Washington's uh, Nate the Great Robinson. Anthony, good pass to Rhoda, he scores. So six unanswered by East Tennessee State, and the Buccaneers force Huggins to call a timeout. And Bobby Huggins furious at the transition defense, or lack thereof, of the Cincinnati Bearcats. 